Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. 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 Yeah. Good morning. Shall we start our class? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, in, guys, in today's class, we are going to discuss you know important topic that is volumes, amines, and snapshots. Let me show you first. You know where we have those options. Yesterday, I think I have shared document also. I have prepared the document and I have shared with you, right? Did you yeah. get the document? Yeah, 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 sir. It's, okay, it's very good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see. First way we get to see those options. Go to if you go to EC two section. Yes, here you can see volumes, snapshots, and AMIs. So let's see what the, uh, what is this all about. First, we'll talk about AMIs, then you know volumes and snapshots. Uh, I, I'm going to draw properly, guys, this diagram, and I'm going to share this you know screenshot with you. Okay. AMIs. Okay. Assume that two guys are working, two guys are working uh, in one project, not project, okay. See, generally what actually happens in companies, uh, we won't uh, create multiple AWS accounts, guys. Everyone will work in the same account. Suppose we are we are in Mumbai, so what we do, we log into the same account, we work in Mumbai region. Some of my team members are there, they are in Dell, you know, they are in, you know, London somewhere. So what they do, they log into the same account, but they work in London region. So everyone will log into the same account with the, with the user credentials, not as a root. You remember when while logging into this account, we logged in as a root user, but just you know below that, you can find one more option called IAM user, right? So we are going to log in as an IAM user. What is that IAM and all we are going to see in upcoming classes. But as of now, understand only this much, that is, Everyone will log into the same account, but they work in their respective regions. Okay, fine. Now here, assume that there are two guys are there. One is Mr. Hari and Sai. Okay, myself Sai, and one more guy is there, Mr. Hari. Okay. See here. Uh, here, Sai, and here, Mr. Hari. Assume that both are using this AWS account. Okay. So now Sai is in Mumbai. Hari is in uh, somewhere Singapore, as you know. Okay. Hari is in Singapore. Now, guys, today topic it's a uh, it takes some more time, half an hour more. Today I'll take half an hour more. Okay. Yeah. So Sai, as you know, Sai launched one instance. Okay. Sai launched one. EC2 instance. Okay. I'll give a name to that instance as one. Okay. One. Now, if we, you know, he has, he launched one instance means, obviously he will get one C drive Correct or not, you can see. Assume that this is C drive. C drive. Okay. Uh, in that C drive, or you can call root drive. If it is Linux, that is root drive. In that C drive, assume that he is having thousand softwares. Install some thousand softwares. 
in this C drive. Okay. This is what my EC2 instance is. EC2. In this C drive, I have installed some thousand softwares. Okay. Now my friend who is uh, my friend who is Hari is sitting in Singapore. He requested me that's why I want these thousand softwares. He requested me that's why I also want these thousand softwares. So what he can do, he can launch his own instance, he can install by his own all thousand softwares. But that is hard work. That is hard work. Okay. But here smart work is what we can do. What I can do from this EC2 instance, from this instance, I'm going to create AMI. Okay, I'm going to create one AMI. You can see this is AMI. This is going to be AMI. Uh, okay, assume that I'm giving one name called okay, XYZW. Uh, sorry, WXYZ. Just I'm giving a name to this and that is X W X Y Z. So when you create AMI, AMI means Amazon Machine Image. So that AMI, AMI means what? Having OS, right? You remember, right? When with Amazon Machine Image only, we launch one instance. So that AMI contains this OS plus. This AMI contains OS plus thousand softwares. AMI contains OS plus thousand softwares. Okay, see, because we created AMI from EC2 instance, that means it is having only root driver C drive. So whatever OS is there in that C drive, that along with that we'll get those already installed thousand softwares. We get all of them. Now what I do, I'm going to copy this one to Singapore region. You can see. I'm going to copy this AMI to Singapore region. See, this is what copy. Okay, I have copied. When I copy, that AMI will go as it is same. You can see. The same AMI. The same AMI. Okay. Having OS, plus thousand softwares. Correct. I have copied this one to Singapore region. Now, what Hari is going to do? Hari is going to launch one instance. Correct. Hari is going to launch one instance. This is Hari's instance. Okay, EC2. But no, to launch one instance, he should have one AMI, correct or not? He should use one AMI, right? We selected Amazon Linux, you know, so far Windows and all, right? So Hari is going to launch this instance by using the AMI, which I copy to his region. He's not going to take default AMI send up. To launch that instance, he's going to take my AMI, which I copy to his region. Okay. This is what he's going to do. It. With this AMI, he's going to launch this instance. When he launches that instance, Okay, so what I'll do, I'll give name to that instance. Assume that that is two. Instance name is two. Okay, so when he launches that instance, in that he will have one C drive, correct? C here. This is going to be C drive. So that C drive, the C drive will have the same water OS is here. That OS plus thousand softwares. That C drive will have all thousand softwares. That means he is going to launch an instance from the AMI, which I copy to his region. Okay, in that AMI already we have OS plus thousand softwares are there, right? So automatically he will get all those thousand softwares. This is a smart way, right? He need not install all thousand softwares again. Correct? That is how we can able to do it. Okay, that is how we can able to do it. So suppose a real time example, we are working in this one, one project. So that project needs some, you know, some hundred softwares to be installed in our instances, hundred softwares. What we can do, 
I can say that, okay, you guys, you can install those softwares by your own. But in that, sometimes you might install properly. You might not install properly. Some of you might take older versions. Some of you might take a new versions. Some of you might get some errors, correct? But here, smart way is what I'll do. I will launch one instance. I will install all thousand softwares. I create AMI from that. I'll share that AMI to you. You create instance from the AMI which I shared with you. That is a real-time use case. Understanding, right? That is how it works. This is what front end, what actually happens automatically. But what actually happens at back end, what AWS does, at back end, when you copy, see here, at back end, when you create AMI, when you create AMI, automatically, first one snapshot will be created, back end. Okay, one snapshot will be created, you can see. This is what we call snap, snapshot. One snapshot will be created automatically at back end. Okay, so that snapshot also contains OS plus thousand softwares. But that is how actually it works. And from that snapshot, AMI gets created. This is what actually happens at back end. Okay, this is what actually happens. See, suppose. You uh, you requested some you know money from your father. Okay, uh, dad, I want thousand rupees. Front end, your dad is giving money to you. That only you know. But back end, what you don't know is your father borrowed that thousand rupees money from some one of his friends. He borrowed that money from. He requested two to three guys. You know, from that he got that money from one of his friends. That money he has given to you. What that you don't know. Friend and your dad is giving you money to you. That much only you don't know. You know. But what you don't know is back and your dad, your dad, you know, he borrowed those thousand rupees from his friend and that money he has given to you that you don't know. Here also, friend and when I create AMI, that will be created directly. But back end, back end, what AWS does, back end, automatically AWS will create one snapshot. From that snapshot, it will create one AMI. So what is snapshot? Snapshot means a backup copy. It's a backup. From that snap, it will create AMI. That actually happens at back end. Now, when you copy AMI to other region, what actually happens at back end? At back end, first the snap will be copied. Back end, that snap will be copied first. Okay, snap will go as it is like this. Here you can see that snapshot. The snapshot. That snapshot contains same that you copied means that will have that OES plus thousand softwares. Correct. So snap will be copied. From that snapshot, AMI will be created actually. That means when you copy AMI, what you think that AMI is getting copied? No. When you copy actually, that snap is getting copied to other region. From that snap, one AMI is getting created. That is how actually it works. So whatever black you can see, right? That that is how it looks like. But whatever blue you can see, right? Blue color. That is what actually happens. I'm repeating this. Don't get confused. When you create AMI, first snap will be created. From the snap, AMI will be created. When you copy that AMI, back and actually snap will be copied. From that AMI will be created. That is how actually it works. Okay, that is so. So you know, earlier we used to do this one manually. But now AWS, they automated this process. Earlier, we used to create snap. From that, we used to create AMI. We used to copy that snap. From that, we used to create AMI. But now they automated. So front end, just you get an option to copy AMI. And that's all. That is how it is nowadays. OK. So fine, these are all about AMIs and snapshots. AMI is nothing but OS contains softwares. Snapshot is a backup copy. Okay, snapshot. Snapshot is a, just a backup copy, guys. Okay, from that snapshot, we create AMI. And by using that AMI, we launch instance. Just remember that. This is all, all about AMIs and snapshots. Okay. Now, this is all about C drive. So far, we have been talking about C drive. Correct? This C drive. Now, what about D or other drives? When you talk about D or other drives, 
there comes okay uh, there comes volumes okay what we'll do first we'll do it this one practically then you'll understand right let's do it now okay so i'll choose two regions one is mumbai and the one is singapore in mumbai i have already some running servers are there okay see let me show you in mumbai already three servers are there what did i enable termination production so that by mistake i should not terminate instant settings actions termination production so you should you can enable only when they are in when they are in running state okay fine 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 that's okay no problem okay guys no problem so in my mumbai region already have some instances and all volumes are and all okay so just to ignore that in singapore do i have anything okay let me delete all unnecessary things Oh, fine keep it that's okay no problem okay. so one is mumbai here one is singapore here you can see okay so in mumbai mr sai is working here you can see in mumbai mr sai is working he is going to launch one instance with root drive let's do it launch instance okay let's launch instance amazon linux t2 micro Number of instances one eight GB is enough. In that, assume that in that only, I have installed thousands of files. You know, right? We have installed HTTP package, right? In like that, assume that you have installed thousands of files. Next, here I'll give a name called one. Next, okay, choose any security group. Review and launch. Launch. Let me create a new key pair. Mumbai. Download key pair and launch instance. View instances. Okay, so I launch you one instance, right? Instance one. That is actually this one. Once it is ready, assume that in that already thousands of files are there. From that, I am going to create one AMI. So when I create AMI, that AMI will have that OS plus whatever softwares are there. It will have that those softwares. So how to create AMI? Simple. So it is ready. Then we'll proceed. Okay, let's wait. Yeah, it is ready. Then go to you know actions. Here somewhere you'll find here image and templates. Right, click that. Create image. Image means what? Amazon machine image. That is what Amazon machine image. That is what image. Okay, they are giving the shortcut form. Amazon machine image. Okay, create image. Now you give any name to that image. What I'll do, I'll give W X Y Z. Okay. You can give any description. Okay. Any name, any description. Fine. That's it. Create image. Don't worry about other things. Create. Yes, I have created one image. See here. This is an image. Ready. Okay. Now, where you can see those images, you can see under images section. Click that. Yeah, you can see one image is being created, right here. You give the same name. W X Y Z. Once it is ready, then we'll proceed. And see, front end, we are creating image. But you know, right? What actually happens at back end? One snap gets created from that snap image is getting created. If you want to see that, yes, here you can go to snapshots. You can see snapshots. Just click on that snapshots. Hit refresh. Let's wait. Once that is ready, then snapshot you no know, will be displayed. Actually, once it is ready, then only snap will be displayed.
it's okay sometimes it takes time guys because it is taking the complete copy of that uh, 8gb right correct or no that's the reason Spend a lot of time. Yeah, let's wait what we can do. Yeah, it is available. Now you can see it is ready, right? Okay, now go to snapshots. What is this? You can see snapshot got created. For that also, let me give the same name. Okay, so that is how. So see, front end we created only AMI, directly image we created, but back end you can see one snap got created. That is so actually, okay, that is so. Okay, that is fine. Okay. Now what we do, we are going to copy this AMI. We are going to copy this one to other region, Singapore. Okay. Let's see how we are going to copy. Go to AMIs, actions, you can see copy ami right to where here you choose the region singapore okay singapore see description also instead of giving the whole entire region, let me give the same just this one only. see before i copy let me take you to singapore i'm in singapore do we have any amis no right do we have any snapshots nothing okay now let's copy. Copy AMI. Done. Now go to Singapore and verify. Hit refresh. You can see she is being copied. Now here it, it is not taking name it. You give manually. No problem. So we copied AMI directly. But back and snap also will get copied. I mean first snap will get copied. From that snap AMI will get created. That I'll show you once this AMI is ready. That means right now we are at this stage. We copied AMI. So back and snap is getting copied. From that AMI is getting created. I'll show you that. Now. Let's wait again. Ah, same account only, same account. Uh, guys, one small announcement. Uh, you should move. Yeah, no, no, it's just copy only. You can't move. Okay, stealth. Uh, most, some of you are requesting for my uh, DevOps classes. Okay, some of you are waiting for my DevOps class. Yes. So tomorrow morning, DevOps demo is it. Tomorrow morning. So I'm starting new, new DevOps batch. That is 7.30. 7.30am to 8.30am. This is my DevOps batch. Tomorrow is my first demo. And day after tomorrow is my second demo. Tomorrow also demo. Day after tomorrow. That means Saturday and Sunday. 
and Monday onwards classes will start. Got it? So DevOps. If you are interested to join DevOps, yes, you can. 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. Tomorrow and after tomorrow, demo. Anyways, we are going to share the class links in your WhatsApp group. I mean, demo link. If you are interested, you can join. Okay? Fine. Still, it is getting copied. I think already some of you are my DevOps students, right? Is there any DevOps student here? Please respond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. I think 9 30 p.m., right? Which is running. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, night, night, okay. Yes, sir. 9 30 p.m. Night. 1 30. Okay. Night. Oof. A lot of time. <laughs> well, that's right. What we can do? We can't do anything. We have to wait. That's okay. Yes, come in company. You get a lot of time, right? Okay. There won't be any issue there. Wait, wait, I'll, I'll come to your doubts. Okay, first, uh, let me finish this topic. Wait, guys, don't type anything in the chat board. First, listen. First, listen, Nicholas. Okay, done. You can see available. See, we successfully we copied AMI to Singapore location. That means you should be able to see respect to snapshot. Correct? Let's verify. Go to snapshots here. You can see in Singapore. Yes, snapshot is there. For that, also let me use the same. You can see snapshot is there. Right? So you copied from sensor destination. That is so. Okay, now what Hari is going to do here, Mr. Hari, he's going to create one. He's going to launch one instance from the AMI which I have shared with you. From this, let's see how he's going to launch an instance. And for that, he'll give a number called two, name two. Okay, let's see. This is AMI, right? In Singapore. See, here, here he can see one option called launch. Launch, like that. You can see, same T2 micro, all these things. Things will work in the same manner. It's, or he'll get one more place this option. That is, go to EC2 dashboard. And here, launch instance. Instead of selecting these default AMIs, left side you can see my AMIs. Select them. What is this? These are AMI which has been created by me. We, we created, I have created and I have copied to Singapore, right? So Hari is going to launch instance from this AMI. Select. Yes, you can see T2 micro. Number of instances one. 8 GB. Now, 
Here it's been one and two. Okay. Then Vivian launch launch. Create any user. That is so he's going to launch and view launch instance. Simple as simple as it. Now Hari will have all thousand softwares in his machine. Correct. That is what smart work. Right. That's how we can do it. Okay. So from this army, he can launch any number of instances. From this army, he can launch any number of instances. That is so. So this is all about armies. It deals with, you know, you know, this is what when you deal with seed. But what if if you deal with D or other drives? If it is D or any other drives, there comes volumes. You can see. Volumes. Okay, volumes. So let's try to understand what is this volume all about. Same thing, eh? same thing, but when we deal with D or other drives. So here also same thing, psi. So here also same thing, Mr. Psi is in Mumbai. Mr. Hari is in, Hari is in Singapore. Now say Psi is going to launch one instance. Okay. He will give one, you know, uh, name to that one as three. Okay. So he launch one instance means he will get one C drive. Correct or not? Yes, he got one C drive. But now we are not worried about that C drive. So along with C drive, he is going to attach one more drive that is D drive. D drive. Okay, see here. He attached one D drive. You know, right? We can attach multiple volumes. In that D drive, assume that I have some, you know, some 500 movies are there. Assume that 500 movies are there. Are any data, any kind of data? I'm simply I'm taking example of movies. 500 movies are there. Okay. So this is what this is easy to instance. Okay, movies are there. Now. So my friend, same, Hari requested me that's I, whatever data is there in your data, whatever movies are there, we, I want all those movies. Okay, I want all those movies in my machine. Then what you do, what you do, see the movies which are there in D drive, right? So from D drive, you are going to create, see here, from D drive. Okay, I'm going to create one snapshot. Manually, here I'm going to create snapshot. You can see these are snap which I'm going to create. See? I'm going to create one snapshot. Let me give a name to that snapshot. I'll give a name called ABCD. See the snapshot? Name is ABCD. So in that snapshot, automatically we'll get all final movies. Correct? Fine. So this snapshot, what I'll do. I'll copy this one to Singapore. Okay. I'll copy this snapshot to Singapore. When I copy that snapshot will be as it is correct. Right here, the snapshot, it will be as it is. Okay, that's name will be same and that snapshot will have 500 movies correct now from that snapshot mr hari what he is going to do he is going to create from that snapshot here he is going to create one volume See here manually he is going to create one volume you can see this is going to be a volume it is going to be volume okay so that volume is going to be a d drive 
okay having all 500 movies whatever data just i'm taking example of movies that is going to be a d drive having 100 movies then what he's going to do hurry first we create volume then after that he's going to launch one instance see from any ami from default ami whatever okay so let's give name so i'm giving four So when he launches any instance, by default, he'll get one C drive. Correct? There will be a C drive, but no, here we are not worried about that C drive. He'll get only C drive. Now what he's going to do, he will attach this particular D drive to his machine. See here? This is how it is going to be. He's going to attach that volume, that particular volume, that's what the D drive to this his machine. So he will get all final software in his understanding, right? So here the only thing that you need to remember is while creating snapshot, I mean, while creating volume from snapshot, while creating volume from snapshot here, it will ask, hey, you, are, you want to create this volume in which availability zone? Suppose here, I would like to give availability zone called A. Availability is on A. Okay, see here, I'm giving availability is on A. Make sure that your instance also should be in a same availability zone. Okay, so if you want to attach wherever your, wherever your volume is there, your availability, I mean, in which availability zone your volume is there, machine also should be in a same availability zone. Then only you can attach volume to that instance. So when you look at that option from snapshot when, while creating volume, then it will ask you, hey, you want to create this volume in which availability zone? Then you give A, B, whatever you want. As per the availability zone, whatever. Make sure that your in instance also sh will, should be in a same availability zone. Then only you can attach that volume to that instance. Got it? That is how it is going to work. Okay. Now, let me just show you, then, then only you will understand. So here, AMIS, it works for C drive. Let me just show you. C drive. But volumes will work for D, D, F, So that's what is going to work. Got it. So here we need to do it manually. We need to create snapshot. We need to copy from that snap. We need to create volume that we need to attach. They are not giving any automation here. Not giving. It's not giving. That is how they are giving. Okay. So let me show you. Let's do it now. Let me launch one instance in Mumbai. I'm in Mumbai. Instance, launch instance. Amazon Linux. T2 micro, number of instances one. But here you can see I'm attaching one more drive. You can see D drive. This is going to be my D drive, right? New drive I'm attaching. Okay, click here so that when I terminate, D drive also should be terminated. Delete on termination. Go next. Now give any name. I'll give three. Next, review and launch, launch. So now this instance is ready. Now what I'll do, I'll create snapshot from the D drive. I'll create snapshot from its D drive. Let's do it. These are instance, right? Three, if you go to volumes, you can see three. In that, which one is my C drive? Wherever snapshot is there, that is my C drive. That is, just, just, that is how you identify. Okay. So one more three, this is a right? Where snapshot is not there, it is my D drive. Okay, remember that. So from this, I'm going to create snapshot. 
So go to actions, create snapshot. Okay, create snapshot. So here you give any name, A, B, C, D. I'll get a name called A, B, C, D. Now you, that's a description. Here also you can give any tag, A, B, C, D. No, create snapshot. Close. So manually I created snapshot. How to verify? Go to snapshot section. Yes, you can see one snapshot has been created. Right? So right now we are at this stage. That snapshot I'm going to copy to Singapore. Let's copy. Select ABC. Before I copy, verify in Singapore. Do we have any ABCD snapshot? No, right? Okay. Now let's copy. Actions, see copy. Copy to which region? Singapore. Okay, just I would like to give that just ABCD description. Copy. Close. Now go and verify. Hit refresh. You can see. Snap got copied, and here you give the same name. Sorry. ABCD, right? So we have copied. Now, where are we now? Right now, what is the current situation now? That is, now we copied snapshot to Singapore. Now, what Hari is going to do? Hari is going to create one volume from that snapshot. While creating volume, he will choose one availability zone. Okay. This is the snapshot. Actions, you can see create volume. Right, create volume. Click here. Okay. So while creating volume, that's that's going to be drive, right? You can choose whatever volume type he wants because D drive, right? So you can choose one out of all these. And 8 GB, yes. You know, he has to take 8 GB. Okay. Because that snapshot size is going to be 8 GB. Create eight. Then which available zone? This is important. Here you can see. If I choose A or whatever you want, you can choose. Assume that I'm selecting A. Okay, selecting A. And here, yes, you can give D drive from A, B, C, D snapshot. D drive from A, B, C, D snapshot. Now create volume. Close. That's it. I created one volume. How to verify? Go to volumes. You can see D drive ABCD. That is in which availability zone? One year. Why it is showing in blue color? Because this is not attached to any instance yet. It is not attached to any instance. So my volume is there, which is blank, standing alone. Now Hari is going to launch one instance in the same availability zone, same availability zone, and he is going to attach the D drive to his instance. Let's see how he is going to do it. So Hari, we launch one instance here, go to instances, launch instance, and some Linux. Next, here you can see, here while launching, here you can select that availability zone. See, one year. Don't worry about this one, VPC related part. I will explain later on clearly, but as of now, see here, one year, right? That is how you select that availability zone. Now, next. So only C drive because D drive he's going to attach later on. Next, give any name, he's going to give four. Next, Rivian launch, launch. That's it. Now, Hari launch one instance. So, by default, that instance is having only C drive as of now. Now, Hari is going to attach the D drive to his instance. Let's see how he's going to attach. Okay, my instance is ready for right see right now this is having only c drive how to verify go to storage 
you can see only c right now i'm going to attach d drive to that how to do it simple go to volumes see this is the one d drive right actions attach one attach that's it. here you choose that instance click that so which instance you need to attach i would like to attach to instance 4 you can see this is the name we have going right? to 4 that's it now attach as simple as that that's it now instance 4 4 is having both c drive and d drive that we attach verify See, go to instance, hit refresh, go to storage, results to get any refresh option. Now verify. Select instance, go to storage. Yes, now verify. See here. One root drive, another one is other data. C drive and D drive. Okay. That is how it works. Easiest way, right? Okay. So from this snapshot, you can create any number of volumes. Any number, there is no limit. Okay. That is how we can do. That's how it is an easy way of transferring data, sharing data to your colleagues. That could be C drive having software, that could be D drive or any other drive having data. This is how. So, AMIs and volumes. AMIs deal with C drive, volumes deals with D or other drives. In between, while copying, we use snapshot. Okay, snapshot only. We use. You might be having notes. I, here, why can't we directly copy here volume itself? You might be having notes. I, this drive is there, right? Why can't you copy directly that drive here? No. Copying always happens where, when it is in snapshot format only. Here also, snap is got snap got copied, not AMI. Snap got copied from that AMI got created. Here you are copying the snap directly, manually. So you cannot directly copy AMI or volume directly. No, that provision is not there. If you want to copy, you can copy that if it is in snapshot format only. Got it? So in AMIs, they have automated this process. Okay, in volume, they haven't automated. Maybe in future, they may automate. We don't know. Earlier here, this we used to do manually here, but now they automate it. Okay. That is so. This is a way by using which you can transfer, you can copy the data. That could be software, that could be data to your colleagues. Okay. So here from one snapshot, one I mean you can launch any number of instances. Right. Here from one snapshot, you can read any number of volumes. That is how it was. This is what volume snapshots and AMIs. Okay, but one more thing here. You can attach volume to that instance when both are in same availability zone. When they are in two different availability zones, things will not work. You cannot attach. That is very, very important. Okay. Fine. Now, if you have any doubts, you can ask me now. I'm going to share this screenshot, guys. Okay, so the, by seeing this, you should understand the things clearly. And one more thing, if you want to delete the things, you need to follow one procedure, sequence. That is, let me write deletion steps. If you want to delete the things. So first, one second, one second. First, you have to delete either, first, you have to terminate EC tools. Second, you have to delete either AMIs or volumes. The last one you can terminate, you can delete snapshot. Okay, this is, uh, this kind of dependency how to follow. Okay, because see, your logic is simple. That is, you created AMI or volumes from snapshot, correct? Here, in first case, AMI got created from snapshot. In second case, volume got created from snapshot. So first you have to delete the dependency, volume or AMI. Then only you can delete snapshot. 
correct or not? So that's it. So while while deleting, you have to come in a reverse order. That is very very important. Okay. So while deleting, you have to follow these steps. First EC2, then AMEs and volumes, then finally only snapshots. Okay. Yeah. Now if you have any doubts, you can go ahead. Hello, sir. Uh, as you said here, the snapshot you are creating from this instance first, and then you are creating the AMI. But here you had created the AMI first and then snapshot. What will be the order? No, 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 no. What I have not created. But see, you understand things clearly. Yeah. First, I created AMI, right? So you can see my cursor position, right? Yes. I created AMI. Backend snap got created. Some snap AMI got created. Backend. That's actually done by AWS. Understood? Okay. But this kind of automation they are not giving in volumes. That's a manual I created snapshot. Okay. Yeah. And also here, uh, uh, from volume two, you had, uh, I mean, you you attach this instance to volume. Hmm. We should in, uh, attach volume to instance, right? Are it's okay. See, if you attach volume to instance or instance volume, both are same, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, uh, sir, uh, can we try this or this is uh, not comes under the free time? What what? Uh, we can try this practical session. Ah, see, you, you try after that immediately terminate. Don't worry. Even okay. if you get bill, I'll tell you how to get rid of that. You need not to pay. So, because we have extended free data, he said, don't worry. You just practice and delete. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, this volume uh, you can't attach while launching the instance. What, what? While launching the instance itself, we can't attach that volume, which is D drive. While launching itself, you want to attach. Ah, no, 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 you can't attach while launching. Oh, okay. ah, hello, sir. Can yes, I show me a step for creating snapshot in Mumbai region for D drive? One more time. I, I did not get you. Come again. Uh, can you show me the step for creating the snapshot for a D drive in Mumbai region? No, no. We created D drive from snapshot. You want me to show that one? No, no. In Mumbai region. Achha, from the snapshot, you want to create D drive, one drive here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see. You this what you want? Organization. You want me to create one D drive from this snapshot, correct? No, no, no. Actually, you have added the D drive in instance. D drive. On the D drive, uh, on the D drive you created the snapshot. He want you to repeat the set section. Repeat this section. Are you you want me to show practically? Yeah, yeah practically. one more time. I want to show you one more time again how the snapshot was created from the D drive from Mumbai stage. See guys, you are asking question reverse order. Volume got created from snapshot. Not snapshot got created from volume. Okay, we created volume from snapshot. That I'm going to show you now. Fine, sir. No, no, you are telling in Mumbai step. region. The first step. In Mumbai region. Repeat the first step. You are telling in Singapore region, right? You are telling in that Sai Mumbai region, right? Achha, you, you want this one? Yeah, from yeah, my yeah, D drive. Yeah. Okay. From this D drive, you want me to show snapshot how to create, yeah, yeah. right? Achha, okay, okay. Sorry, sir. then it was my mistake. I understand. Okay, fine. So here, simple. Go to volumes. Okay. Here, which one is your D drive? This one is your D drive. That's why generally we, we give names properly. So here you rename as D drive so that, you know, snapshot means that's D drive. Other one is D drive. So select D drive. Except one second, one second. Listen, listen, listen. D drive, you create snapshot. One, one, one second, one second. From D drive, you create snapshot here. Just click. That's it. Snapshot okay. will be created. Got it? Okay. okay. Now go ahead, please. Now, please go ahead. Please. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, yeah. please, uh, please. Once go please. to the AWS page. What? Okay. Once go to the page. AWS. Okay. Yeah. Here we can see the, here we can clearly see that for C drive, we can see the snap. How can we find for say, D and uh, uh, E drives? Ah, yeah, there is no such kind of option actually. Okay, here, let me show you. I'll tell you how to identify. There is a way. You select your instance, go to storage. If you scroll down, generally, see here. Root drive will take XVDA. Root drive will have XVDA. That's a Linux convention, remember that. But other drives, okay. So SDB is right. Then if you attach one more drive, that would be HDC, then SDE, SDF, like that. So the first one is going to be your 
D drive. That means B. Next C. Next D. You know, uh, yeah. This is D. Then E. Yeah, like that. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That is all. Uh, sorry. Uh, in case of volume, uh, can we attach volume to an existing running uh, EC2? Yeah, happily, happily. Yesterday I have shown you, right? Okay. While running it, sir, you know, you can detach, attach. Everything is possible. So is it same like the volume concept we have in Docker? Like we can share data between EC and uh, C? No, 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 no. That is not shared volume, right? That is the shared volume. No, no, that is not the case here. This is just a drive. No, no, don't compare with that. Because that is what, that, that you can access that volume from multiple containers, correct or not? Yes. But that is not the case here, right? Here we are attaching one drive to one instance. Okay, so okay. this is and that that was yeah. shared was that different, yes. right? And one more thing, you have to understand one more thing. Mm -hmm. I I created a snapshot, I copied. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now later on, if I put something here, mm -hmm. that won't get copied to here. No. Right. Once you create, I mean there is no relation. Once right. you copy, right, then also there is no relation here. Right, right. Got it? No, there is no relation. That right. means after after that you put some data mm -hmm. that won't get copied here. You copy yes. this one, that won't get copied here. Hmm. But that is not the case in Docker, correct or not? Right. That's that's the difference. Okay. So, and while you are creating this, I mean, it's kind of same image we are creating from EC2. Right. And what was snapshot? You know. Just, so, AMI actually you can't you don't create you can't create AMI directly. Snapshot is a backup copy, so that is acting like a mediator. Generally, we store the data in the form of snapshots. Okay. And now let me tell you one more thing. See, at the beginning of class, I said, I will explain these things. Let me show you. Launch instance. You can see these AMIs, right? Yes. So here, these AMIs are having some other softwares also. You can see some uh, AMIs. You can see, if you take this SUSE Linux, apart from having OS here, it is having MySQL, PHP, Apache 2, correct or not, Ruby. So AMI, the AMI which they are providing by default OS plus softwares. Hmm. The way right now our AMI is having, you can see this AMI is having OS plus softwares, correct? Yes. In that manner. Snapshot is just a backup. Uh... Yeah, it's a backup copy. That's it. It's it only happen in AMI only, no? It's snapshot, only. The snapshot create automatically. It's only in case of AMI. Yeah, that will be created in case of AMI only. Uh, so I have to copy a snapshot of uh, AMI and drive volumes in encryption manner. Now we are doing yeah. in decryption. While now. copying only, actually that if you want, you can use RX known here. While copying only, you'll get an option that, you know, you enable that encryption. See, snapshot is it. Okay, this one I would like to copy to some other region. Okay, see here, copy. While copying here, you can see just you'll get an option, just enable. That's it. That will be copied in an encrypted manner. Got it? Okay, but as simple as that. So, what is this API error? Where you are getting API error? In the dashboard, EC2 dashboard. Where For the instant and elastic IPS keep here for everything, I'm getting API error. When you are getting that error? In the dashboard only. What, well, what you are doing? No, while performing which action you are getting that error? I'm not performing anything. Uh, at when I opened the uh, AWS this console one, so it is uh, getting API error. Achha, do one thing. You just share the structure to me directly. Okay. okay. I, I want to read the error. Then I can guide you clearly. Okay. Uh, Hello, sir. I have one question. Yes, please. Uh, after creating snapshot, we take a backup of our data. Hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, after creating snapshot, if we add some data, that won't get copied. That's what I said, right? Just now. See, if you put some data, that won't get copied here. No, there is no relation if you copy. If you create after, there won't be any relation. Got it? Any more doubts? Hello, Sai, please explain the uh, availability zone. What is, what is this? See, uh, you remember my demo? AWS demo. Yeah. In that, I said, you know, every region is divided into availability zones. Every region. Okay, in my demo, I have explained. So every region is divided into availability zone. Let me show you. This is region. 
in that we have three availability zones at the right now in mumbai so when you launch any server that may launch it in either one availability zone second or third so they have given the name for abc these are region region is having availability zones okay these are kind of mini data centers you can think mini data centers so if you want to see them go to ec2 dashboard here directly scroll down you can see mumbai region is having three availability zones one a one b one c got it mini data centers in mumbai Thank you. Yeah. Hello, uh, sir. For this router, the snapshot is created automatically. Yes. Uh, so, if you terminate the instance, the router will go. Uh, actually, if yes. the terminate is not right, enabled. Right, router will go. Right. So, if you want that copy, we need to contact admin like that. The no, no. Snapshot is right. Direct snapshot is here. Oh. So, what you can do here, from this, you you can create one. I mean, manually, no problem at all. It is getting created automatically. If you want to create manually, you can do that. If you select the snapshot in actions, you will get an option to create AMI also. Okay. Got it? Okay. Okay. Let me show you that option also. Go to snapshots. This is a snapshot. What is this? Got it? That's how you can do it manually also. That is what they automated actually. Earlier we used to do manually only. Any more doubts? Sir, can you please show us the deleting process? I'm going to show you now after clarifying your doubts. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you how to delete. Simple. Just follow these steps. EC2 is AMI's volumes and snapshots. Uh, yeah, first to can go you, to sir, can you copy uh, take the snapshot of instance? No, can you uh, create the snapshot of instance? Huh? Is that possible? That's what okay. Manually, you want to create snapshot, yeah, of that instance. Yeah, you can do that. That also. So, I mean, you are doing me, I understood you. You are saying that's fine. Yeah, I don't want to create AMI, I want to create snapshot manually. Yes, yeah, you want to create snapshot from C drive, right. Yes. What you do, simply you select C drive. Instance, right? Yeah, go to volumes. That's what your C drive, right? Here, this one. Correct, C drive. Yeah, go to actions. Create snapshot. Actually, earlier we used to do like this only. But now they automated that process. Understood? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so to all delete... Side, first all one. instance uh, snapshot we can create C drive, D drive together. Uh, that, you know, no, one second. Yeah, that is not recommended actually. Okay. okay, I don't think so. That is possible. Maybe in future they may enable. Uh, but I heard that yes, recently they enable. Right now that is operational or not, I don't know. But that is not recommended. Okay. Okay, not yet. So now see here, select instances. First terminate. Done. In Mumbai, okay. In Singapore also, let me do the same thing. Then once they are got terminated, then what is the next step? Either you delete AMIs or volumes. Okay, anyways, whatever is it, you can delete one by one. Terminated. Okay. Oh, it's still shutting down. That's right. Yeah. Now go to AMIs. See, AMI, you can't delete. You can only deregister. Go to Actions. Deregister. Okay. That will be deregistered from AWS account. Kind of delete only. Go to Volumes. Okay, Volumes got terminated automatically. Because, you know, while launching itself, we selected, right? Delete on termination. Terminated. Now, snapshots. Select snapshots and delete. That's it. Now, do the same thing in Singapore. Now go to AMIS. Actions, pre register. Then volumes. One volume because that we attach it, right? Later on. Delete. Then snapshots. Delete. 
that's it now my code is pretty clean nothing is there. let me refresh instances are not there amis are not there volumes are not there snapshots are not there and same thing in mumbai also just you know confirm once again so that you know uh, amis are not there volumes okay these are unsold snapshots are not there. that's it simple sir sure. yes please so we have uh, we have to pay uh, for creating snapshots or a a avis yes snapshots you know uh, i mean sir bill you get but that's pretty very very less little bit don't worry now you can practice i'll tell you how to get rid of that bill okay very very less sir that's my new okay okay hello sir yes please here we can able to see uh, other regions uh, missions also while working in mumbai no no that is not possible in real time also in real time also not possible mm -hmm. okay yeah. guys i took the screenshot of this one i'm going to share this one along with recording video by seeing this image you should understand everything okay any more doubts from anyone yeah hello yes please this is one more doubt you are copying the volumes from mumbai to singapore right and accessing the same account right from singapore i can't understand what you are saying come again please you are copying the volume from one region to other region right right yeah and accessing from the same account suppose a person want to access from other account or other account how can he access acha you want to access from other account yeah yeah see earlier that option was not there but recently i heard that recently they are adding that one copying to other accounts also but I, i'm not pretty sure i we need to verify good actions here copy just copy here we are giving only copy to other region but i'm pretty sure in future they will add to other accounts also okay okay Maybe i don't know that is not so okay. because see guys in company we maintain one one account only in companies we maintain one account only that you will understand in you know i am class clear okay sir if if company maintain one account only uh if uh, there are multiple employees uh, will, yeah uh, then, if uh, any employee did mistake how how can <laughs> they come to no 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 that won't happen because we give limited privileges uh -huh. we okay. don't give root access to everyone that's what we are going to see iam class okay identity and access management okay 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 so that's it guys for today thank you all tomorrow and day after tomorrow we don't have any classes weekends next class will be on monday okay so please join in monday and yeah tomorrow and after tomorrow if you are if you are interested in joining devops you can attend morning 7:30 am devops demo sunday saturday and sunday okay yeah thank you guys thank you all bye bye happy weekend thank you sir thank you thank you sir bye thank you sir thank you thank you sir happy thank you thank you thank you uh hello sir yeah please Uh, sir can i ask you something uh, just uh, uh, beside this uh, topic yeah please that... please go ahead yeah sir uh, um, just like can you uh, i know i want to know like uh, what is the role of cloud engineer cloud specialist or anything uh, like i seen other roles uh, and what is the use of python language in cloud computing no here we are not using python uh, so cloud, cloud developers are what they are working no no see here they no here even the developer cloud developer means while actually they are developers but where they deploy that you know that application whatever they create they deploy in one server correct yes sir. so that is in aws so for them also they should know cloud that's okay. it, those guys we call cloud developers okay that's yeah. why it said right aws is mandatory must and should to learn any technology Okay. Oops. Thank you, everyone.